okay student let's see what is there in this question a charged 200 microfarad capacitor is placed in series with a 10 kilo ohm resistor at time t is equal to zero the current is i so this is about the discharging of a capacitor let us say this is positive and this is negative and so the current will start flowing clearly it is the case of discharging of a capacitor what is the time taken for the current in the resistor to become this much okay so first of all this question is about the discharging of a capac capacitor so in this case we know that q is given by q naught e raised to power negative t by tau current is also given by the same thing t by tau and the voltage across the capacitor is also having the same variation but now we want to talk about the current okay so we would be using this and the peak value would be happening at t is equal to zero so at t is equal to zero the current is i it means that i is the peak value which i have taken as i naught so uh, this uh, peak value i would be using this equation now let me substitute this value here it means that the peak value divided by e cube should be the new current and this is i naught this divided by tau peak value and peak value gets cancelled out clearly t by tau will be equal to 3 and so the time taken will be 3 times time constant the time constant value is not given in the question so we will find it time constant is given by the product of resistance and the capacitor it is 1000 into 10 raised to power 10 into 10 power 3 and 210 raised to power negative 6 because it is micro so this and this is getting cancelled out negative 3 this will cancel out with three zeros so the time constant is coming out to be two seconds clearly we will multiply it with three and the answer will come out to be equal to six a second so this is how we do this question dear student so this is the case of discharging of a capacitor mind it charging of a capacitor um, is not in our syllabus but the graphs of that they are given in the book but the formulas are not given so i am not discussing those formulas in any of my video but anyways as per the discharging of a capacitor is concerned these are the three formulas that you have to remember quite simple plug in the value get the answer this is completely exponential curve the graphs are like this and it does have a concept of half life okay um, okay i will not be confusing you people here you people can uh, read about this and if there will be some question about half-life i will tell you okay dear students so this is a uh, professor Varun. thanks for watching the video please join the youtube channel if you want to learn more such concepts all the best bye